Okay, this is a big one. Documentation speed. So when it comes to how quickly you can document something, in general, photogrammetry is going to be faster. Okay, and let's let's look at a couple of scenarios here. If I have a small object like a, I don't know, a shoe or something bigger like a trash can or even bigger like a car or whatever, in terms of documenting something like that with a digital camera, it's really, really fast. I can just take the camera out and I, you know, go around the object, take a whole number of photographs and really it's just click, 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 click. And you're typically doing okay there. Now, there are instances where it will take a little bit longer. So if you're using a tripod and the camera and you're using an extended shutter speed, it will take you a little bit longer. But let's look at something on the other side of the spectrum, which is something really big. So if I'm using a drone as my platform that's going to carry my camera, then I can uh, map out or I can collect or document an area very, very quickly. And that's because I'm high up, I capture an image which is rather wide. And so in 10 minutes of flight time on a drone, I can capture a lot of area really, really, really fast. Now the laser scanner sort of has a number of choices in terms of the uh, documentation speed. And that really comes down to the resolution. So if I'm in a small area, you know, 20, 30 meters, 40 meters, or if I'm going to do a few rooms inside of a house, well, I can reduce the resolution and I can typically move faster. However, you're kind of limited in that you can really only go, it's like two, three, four, five minutes, something like that, sometimes even more per scan and that's to collect all the data and then to collect photographs. So in those cases, if you have to do a wide area, laser scanning is going to take a very long time. Okay, especially if you have sort of um, uh, a wide, long stretch of space, let's say like a long straight roadway, the laser scanner just can't jump from one spot, you know, way down to another spot. Uh, you try to keep the scans relatively close and so long as that they can connect and you sort of have a series of scans that get registered together. So that takes a bit more time. Also, if you're in an indoor space and you're scanning, the space can be small, but if you have a lot of little areas that are hidden or there's line of sight issues, a lot of little rooms, well, you have to scan in all of those rooms. So now it takes time, not because the scan time is taking a long time, but be because you have a lot of little spaces that you have to scan. So in general, in general, the documentation speed on photogrammetry is a plus, and that's probably a winner there uh, in my books because you can typically go faster. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't mean you can use it in every single place, but it is typically faster.